start my speech by let's see, start my speech by playing a video titled "Love Love" by Dirty Turk. So when you're in public and you start to feel alone, put your hands behind your head, step away from the phone. You don't need to stare at your menu or at your contact list. Just talk to one another. Learn to coexist. I can't stand to hear the silence of a busy commuter train where no one wants to talk through the fear of looking insane. We're becoming unsocial. It no longer satisfies to engage with one another and look into someone's eyes. Okay, so our world is evolving and advancing with new technology every day. And our generation grew up with this technology, so we rely on it from a day-to-day -day basis. But did you know using technology can actually affect your health? Uh, so first, how is using technology bad for us? Using technology can cause mental health problems. According to a website article titled Nine Ways Technology Affects Mental Health, which is on May 18, 14, 2014, the 19th are Sleep, depression, addiction, 24-7 stress, fear of missing out, isolation, instability, insecurity, and anxiety. So, to explain both two of, two of the terms that you may not um, realize what they are, fear of missing out is when you go on Instagram and you have to tell everyone where you're eating, or you're at the beach and you have to tell everyone that you have, you're at the beach. And the instability is when you're on the internet and you, you tend to be rude to other people, so it's another form of cyberbullying. According to MTV's show True Life, an episode title, I'm Addicted to the Internet, show three people. Um, the first one is Danielle, the second one's Gary, and the last one is Alexandra. Danielle had trouble letting go of her phone, as you can see. Uh, she, she had problems letting go of her phone and paying attention to her family. So she, she put her family as a second priority rather than first. Gary was addicted to Instagram, taking selfies as much as a hundred times a week. And so he he was left jobless and homeless. And lastly, Alexandra was a senior in high school who was studying all her classes. She spent as much as 11 hours on the internet instead of studying. Um, the, the, the ending of the episode resulted in Gary actually straightening up his life and Alexandra graduating high school and going to a university, but Sally, Dan Danielle, didn't, um, her husband left her and she was left with her addiction. We have discussed how using technology is bad for us. Now we, dis we will discuss what causes the type of, this type of behavior. Depression is one of the causes of using the internet often. According to a New York Times article titled How Depression how Depressed People Use the Internet by Siriam Chilapan, an, an assistant professor of computer science at Missouri University of Science and Technology, and Rag Havendar Koti Kalupiti, a soft, software developed engineer, stated many depressed people who use the internet tend to be less concentrated and have anxiety. A study showed people who are less concentrated to, tend to constantly change apps. For like example, you're on your phone and you constantly change apps from your email to your text messages or to a game. The study also showed people have anxiety by frequently checking their emails. According to a TED Talk, Alone But Connected, on April 2012 by Sherry Turkle, a culture analyst stated, we want to be one place but also want to be in another place. So she's basically saying that we're all alone together. So just picture in a room with your friends and everyone's together, but you're all isolated just on your phones. We just dis discussed what the cause of using technology so much. Now we will discuss how, the, how to limit the use of technology. So it's time to stop posting. Um, According to an article titled, When Technology Takes Over Your Life, on WebMD, retrieved on May 7, May 17, 2014, there are a couple ways to limit the use of technology. Some ways are by leaving your phone at home, setting a not-to-do list, eliminating a device, finding someone who can help you, and learn moderation. So letting your phone, leaving your phone at home is obviously just leaving your phone at home. 
Uh, setting a non-to-do list is saying when you wake up, you're not going to look at your phone, or a certain time of the day, you're not going to use your phone. Eliminating devices when you just, you're always constantly on your uh, technology, your laptop or your phone, so you just take it out of your life. Finding someone to help you could be someone who monitors your usage, usage of technology, telling you, hey, you have to stop using your phone, or they monitor the, how much you use your phone. And learn moderation. So basically, um, um, is you don't have to be a caveman and not use your phone at all, but you could learn when you should, you know, you, you could tell yourself when you have to stop and, and, and you don't use it as much that it actually affects your life, like, like the people that were on the NCE's um, true life. We have discussed about why we should limit our use of technology. Now we conclude my speech. So, um, using technology can be bad for our health in many ways. We discussed how technology can be a problem. Second, what is the cause of using technology so much? And lastly, our, what can be done to limiting the use of technology? I recommend um, everyone watching the full YouTube video titled Look Up by Gary Turk. Um, so remember, limiting your use of technology can help you become a better person, person mentally, socially, and physically. Go outside and have a normal conversation with your friends, family, or maybe even a stranger. And remember, oh, well, you can also hang out with your old friends. If you understand what that is. <laughs>